everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this little informative tidbit called You're Here for Beer. Oh, yeah. I'm Lee, the one that smells like garlic. I'm Jay, the one that doesn't smell like garlic. <laughs> so, Jay, what are we talking about today? We're talking about something very near and dear to me, and that is the beers of the great city of Chicago. And why Chicago is a great beer drinking city, right? And a great beer city, not just a good great city for drinking beer, a great beer city for making beer. And a great city in general, right? It's a pretty great city. Well, you except had for a few months of the year. Or it's just <laughs> a, uh, well, you've had. Wait, how, wait, how do you say how long you lived there? Three, three winters. That's three how we. Yeah. Yes. Well, you you've had the time there. I've only spent very short visits there right. five times over, but I've experienced every season, including minus. What's your 19. favorite season? The winter, obviously. Well, winter, the first, yes, falling into snow. When you freeze up, your eyes freeze, that's fun. <laughs> oh, where we on the hell platform, we want to push the button. Uh, that was always fun. But, you know, what really helped when we were there was drinking beer, obviously. So, uh, I remember, if we can talk at least about, I think, the brewery that really is the modern take for Chicago, the one that's most popular for the modern right. era. Right. The first one that you made sure why well, I got their first big, their yeah. first, Chicago's first big craft brewery. Which was? Pipeline. <laughs> oh no, Goose Island. There you go. And since now bought by Budweiser, but actually they still have some great beers and they Budweiser has given them, their, given them their autonomity, so. I do love me some yeah. Bourbon County and some Matilda. Who doesn't love the Bourbon County? Oh, see. I think this, for this one, we should start breaking out some drinks a little early. Though. Do it, because I'm hot and thirsty. All right. Well, what do we have in honor of Chicago? Let's drink early. Yes. Well, because Chicago is also a great place for, what else is there for um For getting afternoon? drunk. Some stoop drinking. Stoop drinking on the stoop. That's right. People well, pass by and say, hey, have a beer with us. And they said, I'm stoop and have a beer with you. That's right. So I'm going to give you... The already mentioned Goose Island. I already feel like your shirt and what we're doing here, this is like a Goose Island ad, but it is totally not. That's right. It's we'll have an anchor ad Goose sometime later. Goose distributes <laughs> more than anyone else because now they're owned by Budweiser. Well, you have the traditional, as we talked about some other ones. Goose, the one that's most popular, I guess. And I have the Young Buck, the up-and-coming one. Oh, Off-color. Off-color off color beer. beer. <laughs> that's right. This is a Goose IPA, which is, I guess, their first big flagship beer. Yes. That's and uh, they are known for others though, honkers, right? Three one two. Three one two. The Chicago area code. Where's our like I said? Where's our jar? <laughs> where's it's, our tap jar? Our top jar somewhere over there. I don't know, but right, you go ahead and talk. And then I've got the off-color brewery one, and that's uh again the young buck, the new ones in the block, a couple years I guess old uh, from one of the. Co-brewers, or the, uh, I guess co-brewer, that's you would say it, right? From Goose Island, and they do off-color, and uh, this is in Logan Square, which I'm not even sure about the geography. Yeah, I mostly Logan Square's cool. I mostly stayed around it's at the Logan North Station. River, North Loop, unless you were bringing me around places. And this is a, a Goosa, which I actually were trying to find the rating for Sparkles oh, Finds Some Trouble. I did a horrible job for you. Which this one is a uh, again we can't even find this uh, really rated right now or anything but so much foam and our pouring is really bad because we've been drinking since ten a.m. Pour a lot because your glass is bigger. Yes, we've been drinking since ten a.m. So I should have used the half eight hours glass. in. <laughs> you could have. All right. But what were some of your other? Uh, well, go ahead. I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> I think some of the other favorite spots that were there. You actually talked to me all about Half Acre, which I never got to yeah, mention any time. Yeah, Half Acre's relatively new. They're expanding very rapidly. North side, they have a lot of great beers. Also, a very neighborhood place. This smells. It's really pink. Not yes. Um, this smells like not my usual kind of. Even beer newer drink. is Revolution Brewing, which Re is great. Revolution's the one Probably I got to not have too far from this place. I had to have a lot of. There, uh, drinking that in different restaurants. Other There's across there. the board. They have good beers. The IPA is really great. Their pour is great. Uh, I used to hang out a lot at Peace Brewing, and Pizza Place. It's a Connecticut style pizza. New Haven. What do they call that? Well, anyway, it's not deep dish. It's not Chicago deep dish because that's honestly that's, that's probably good. better somewhere else outside that's of Chicago. For tourists. That's for tourists. Um, I used to hang out a lot there though. Half owned by the uh, guy from Cheap Trick. They have live karaoke. The double guitar guy. Yeah, you can see his guitar there. Great pizza, get potato pizza. 
All the beers are good. It was Obama's favorite place to drink beer. They made the inauguration there except inauguration inauguration there except for a kind of a snafu. New brewery there called Pipeline, which is just getting rave critical reviews, and I agree, everything I've had from there is great. Like some of the beers might sound strange, but damn, they're good. Well, you were just there a month or so ago, right? A couple of months ago, I tried uh, Cruz Blanca, which is Rick Bayless's Chef Rick Bayless's new brew pub, and damn, I was there the opening week. And they have a porter there that is spectacular. Maybe the best porter I've ever had. That alone is worth going to check out. That's I remember you uh, couldn't wait to rave about it to me when you were in Chicago already. Yeah, I wanted to just marry it. <laughs> so, um, there are, of course, several breweries other that I haven't mentioned. We'll make a list, and Lee will put it somewhere. Lee will put it there. in the list. <laughs> um, well, I if you go to most bars, though, Chicago's very crap and like hands-on kind of work people so any kind of local bar they'll probably have some local beer so if you're out of Chicago and that was the thing. local mm -hmm. beer I mean that was also the thing was we um, well actually how do you like your I actually show? this was one of my favorite beers when I lived in Chicago still one of my favorite beers it's first it's a beautiful color but second it's just like perfectly balanced it's um it's not a West Coast IPA, so if you're expecting that, it's not what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get that palate destroying. It's uh, an English IPA, but it's also more kind of an American style English IPA. So you're getting a lot of pop character and nice clean malt. I like I like Goose Island IPA. Well, I think Goose Island's solid all around, but just about all their offers. At the brew pub too, they have something called the Midway IPA, which is it's like between a, it's the Midwest, and they call it Midway IPA because it's like a midway between an East Coast and West Coast IPA. Plus. It's also really, if you're there when they have it, it's also really great. And it's, the O'Hare alternative, have a lot of, Midway. <laughs> right, 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 Midway, the airport. And they have a lot of things that you, know, you can't get in bottles because, like I said, they're still autonomous, so they can brew things they just want to try. The only they still have the, uh, was it the MBA? program right. from years and years right. ago that would have been nice um i think you should actually try this and uh should smell I? drink you you probably should it's interesting this is a first experience with with off oh color. it smells really sour yes it's actually not so sour tasting it's a good very floral scent i guess one of the things that's supposed to be hibiscus with hibiscus yes for it color too. so it's got the color and it's got so, the scent okay. are you done with talking about off color about that beer because beer, yes we mentioned breweries keep drinking. i want to mention other places to go drink in chicago well, that's what i was going to say you were talking about like metropole not metropole revolution metropole is another one I, had in, I prefer revolution but either one is great yes um map room which is a beer bar and it's like one of the foremost beer bars in the country uh hop leaf in andersonville you go see too much light makes it go blind. You could stop it every four. Got to see the I have some muscles and Belgian beers you all around. Have but you do have to have Belgian have beers. Beer, yes. Um, Kuma's, Kuma's Corner. There's two locations now. Great burgers, good beer selection, cool crowd. Let's just say cool crowd. Biker slash, or biker, biker hipster, hipster, hipster kind of all moshing together. <laughs> well, I missed out on that too. Yeah. Next time we'll go there. I had to stay around, you know, North Loop and River North. Near yeah. North River. River North. That, or River North, yes. So I ended up with places like Charcoal and Tim O'Tools. My dick goes. I, no, I didn't eat it because, <laughs> but I ate at Weber Grill when someone else had to go there, so had that too. Oh, and, you know, like the bar. Yes, I was. I had to have many a touristy time. Transit's easy in Chicago, even if you're drunk. It is. That's actually probably one of the great things about Chicago for a beer drinking city is transit. I mean, you can pretty much get everywhere. It's pretty easy to figure out. And people are, they like drinking. Hence what we're doing right now and uh, some stoop drinking. In fact, uh, the main street along the lake is called Lakeshore Drive, which is LSD, they call it for short. And there's a saying in Chicago that people go to work on LSD and they come home drunk. Should I laugh? Rim shot. 
Oh, that is awesome, though. But Chicago is one of the great places to actually sit, drink, and great of course, beer. That's, again, I'm not saying they're alcoholics. I'm just saying great beer. No, it city, is great, great beer. drinking city. It's a reason to appreciate. I mean, great art, great culture. The art, yeah, that is another reason to go there for sure. But I mean, it's great museum. I would say that we would say probably there's a lot of beer cities. <laughs> great overtalk. <laughs> yes, just great overtalking for that too. But I mean, there's. The cities that are supposedly recognized, like your Portland, like your San Diego, stuff like yeah. that. But places like Chicago, they're underappreciated for both the beer they craft. That's true. And just to actually have the good atmosphere for drinking, both in breweries and in bars and restaurants. Because it's a real city. It's a, like a real working city that just also happens to have great beer. Every little bit of it. Did you have some of that? We've uh, had it before. this I'm time, sure. but yes, we've had it before. Definitely. Right. With the bowl pop. Yes. English style. Definitely different from mine, which um, we'll see what other stuff Off Color has. But there are, again, lots of upstart breweries even coming out of the Chicago area. But maybe I'll have to try and get there when you're out there so I can be there in person with you. And Ben and Matt. That was shout outs for rough. everybody who's out there. It would be rough, but I guess I could make it. <laughs> Drinking my favorite. Drag beer you back out there again, right? Days. Yeah. As long as it's not really the middle of winter or the middle of summer, that would be fine. Bring a cooler back with some bourbon county and other things. If you can get it. If we can get it. That's true. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's it. That's it. It's just a quick thing where we want to talk about some good cities. You know, it's not as informative as some of the other ones, but hey, either way. If you're going to Chicago, though, some nice places. Drink to Chicago. Yes, we'll make sure we have that list up. And, anyways, I will have to say that I'm Lee, the one in the Goose Island shirt. I'm Jay, the one without the Goose Island shirt. (laughs) And this is Here Here for Beer, so thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Support your local brewery. Oh, ah.